Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is the White Feather Tarot and in today's reading we're taking a look at how people see you. Uh, this will give you a good idea on how you're being perceived on the outside. Um, so let's see, shall we? We have four piles for you here today. We have the first picture, which is pile number one. This is the second picture, which is pile number two. Third picture, pile number three and four picture pile number four. See which picture you're the most drawn to and that's probably the reading for you today. As usual, you'll find the timestamps down in the description box. Click on your time and I'll see you in your reading. Hi, pile number one. So you've chosen this beautiful picture. It says, discern the truth. And what I really see about you, pile number one, first and foremost, is that you're a person who always has their eye on the goal. Um, people see you as the sort of person who always goes after the dr their dreams. You don't waste time being um, indecisive. Uh, you're not the sort of person who doesn't know what they want or where to go or what to do. You're definitely this person who's always being transformed into... Uh, and growing into a much more amazing person and it, this is something that people really love about you they see you as being a very unique person they know that every time um, by time when as time goes by you're definitely going to be growing into something bigger and um, this also threatens a lot of people because not everyone has this ability to always be gaining more knowledge and growing and and getting bigger it's almost threatening for some of the people around you pile number one they are um always they try to put you down but you don't you you're not the sort of person who's who gets pulled down uh, you don't have time to focus into drama you don't have time uh, to listen to silly ideas that sometimes pulls down most of the people, the whole community, the, your society, uh, you always think for yourself, uh, even if everyone has a sort of an idea about something, they've created this idea socially about something, if it's hinder, if this idea is hindering you and it's not serving you and you don't see the logic behind it, you have no problem canceling out what everyone thinks of you and going after what you believe could be right for you and this is why it's hard, very hard for most people to move forward because they don't have this growth mentality that you have um, and I see a lot of people envying you for having this ability to think for yourself I mean they may bully you sometimes or try to bully you sometimes for having a different opinion than when, than what most people think but you're definitely not concerned about that pile number one you know what your goal is and you're always after whatever is going to make you a better stronger person also what i see here pile number one is that you don't waste your time being jealous of other people um <clears throat> you see every other person uh who's better at you in, in in whatever in their looks in their job and whatever they're doing as an inspiration for you to get better so you're the sort of person who would feel happy for other people for having other beautiful blessings and you take uh, the time to have a look at why they're successful at whichever area that you liked why um, they have this blessing what do they do to have it and you really take your time to think about it to ask questions to search until you get the right information and do the same so you're very inspired by people's successes and people's blessings and you always wish them well and you feel very abundant that's why uh, you feel like you can go out yourself and get it and this is also one of your great strength pile number one uh, your manifestation powers because you have that mindset you're able to constantly create things for yourself and this is why you're constantly transforming and why people really admire 
even if they don't show it to you they admire how you're constantly being able to change into the better you really wow them pile number one every once in a while when you've made big quiet transformations that seem so easy for you to do so so interesting pile number one all right so now let's take a look at your tarot cards i'm just going to keep this card up there so you can see your tarot cards and see <clears throat> how people perceive you so pile number one how do people see you all right so i think we've shuffled this enough so you have the three of cups. People see you as being a very optimistic person. You are very happy in dealing with people and dealing in, in being part of a teamwork. You're always the person who people can <clears throat> depend on. Uh, you have this honest integrity to you and this really makes sense because you can't really grow unless you're, you're honest with yourself and others. You see things for how they are um, and because you don't lie to yourself and you don't taint the truth, you're able to constantly see what's wrong and fix it. And this is why you're very, you're always a key player in a team. Uh, you have this combination between being really driven uh, and being uh, honest at the same time. B having grace to you. Uh, but being very strong and driven, pile number three. People see you as a very fun person um, when it comes to teamwork and to group work. Uh, you're a very pleasant, fun person. You're optimistic, of course. And um, you're not there to compete with others uh, and try to prove that you're better. You let your work do that. You let whatever you're working on, whether it's personal or some or whatever it is, in the activity to speak out for itself but you're not really if you're you're not the best if whatever you're doing is not the best you're not really concerned um you're very happy for other people as well and um you don't have this immature type of competitiveness to you you'd love to win of course but at the same time if you don't you learn from whatever <clears throat> happened and you do better the next time it's really interesting pile number one um you're very unique from other people and people are able to const to instantly see that about you um they you are instantly noticed as being different from everyone else i think people are really intrigued to get to know you first but then they see they not everyone can keep you in their lives because most people are quite jealous of you and they co keep comparing themselves to you and it's very hard to keep up with you so you really need a mature person um to be able to love you for who you are and keep up with you and be and not compare themselves to you constantly just the way that you do pile number one um <clears throat> you are very action driven pile number one uh, you always take action instantly right away whenever you've had a very good idea that's going to push you forward i see you as a person who most of the time is self-disciplined uh, you have a good plan and um, you're always moving forward with your plan. You're seeing where you want to go next. Um, uh, what actions are needed to be taken so that you achieve the goals that you have in your mind. And you're always go, 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 go. Um, and it brings a lot of fru things come into fruition constantly for you because you take the right action to do what you want. And this is something that people definitely notice about you. They know if that if they want something done, and if you're gonna do it um, they know they can totally depend on you uh, and they're just really they admire your sense of duty your uh, your sense of achievement they admire how self-disciplined you are and uh, how logical you are you are able to uh, logically set out what it is that you need to do because a lot of people they could be self-driven as well just like you but they may not always have the right logical steps to reach a certain goal i think you do your research really well you have um 
a high sense of common sense, if that makes sense. <laughs> You're, you, you have a lot of common sense to you uh, and you're able to easily um, come up with decisions that will always take you towards your goal, mm -hmm. pile number one. Pile number one, you are a very decisive person. Uh, you're not the sort of person, most people around you, they get persuaded by different ideas all the time. So let's say they're working on a certain goal and another idea pops up you'll watch them moving on to the other idea and then a third idea pops up and they they'd be moving on into a third idea and there you watch people around you being really indecisive in that matter i think pile number one what really keeps you um what really makes you shine stand out is the word i want to say what really makes you stand out is your ability to take a decision, take a good one and stick to it. And um, you're of course flexible. If this decision doesn't work for you, you're definitely gonna drop it and move on. But other than that, you don't move from one idea to the other without completing it. Once you believe in an idea, it means you took your time to think about it well and you know now what you're doing. You're not it's not an idea that you were you had you were half-hearted about. It was definitely an idea that you really loved and that's why you took it and that that's what makes you a very decisive person and if along the way you get an idea that you don't like uh, so another idea that you like uh, you definitely keep it in your mind write it down and make sure you take steps towards it when the right time comes mm -hmm. um, with the eight of uh, pentacles in reverse here palm number uh, one, people think that you reach your goals very effortlessly. They don't see the amount of effort that you put in. They constantly see you doing things easily. They, of course, um, think that you do things that easily because of the amount of skills that you have. While that may be completely true, you are very blessed person in terms of the skills that you have because you're constantly growing and you're always creating new skills you're always um you always have new skills that you can depend on that's something that's very true but you put in a lot of work you're very <laughs> graceful at um with the time that you put in you don't complain too much you don't um act annoyed by the amount of work that you have you're always on the go and because you're always working and you and you're very pleasant like we explained here people think that achievement comes very easy for you uh they think that um they don't understand the amount of effort you put in to achieve something there's so much behind the door that people don't see what i also see here pile number three uh, four uh, sorry <laughs> pile number one is that you enjoy whatever it is that you're doing this is something that is very key about you pile number one um you're always doing what you enjoy and you turn your tasks into a fun game. You always love watching yourself achieve things. And this is why achievement in itself is a game for you. You like, for example, ticking things off your list. Um, you enjoy watching a goal and working on it until its completion. You really enjoy your time while you work and achieve your goals. You love that hit of um, endorphins when you when you become successful at something that you've had in your head so the way it works is you envision things in your head and it becomes this beautiful idea that you obsess about in a healthy way and all you can think about is how you can achieve this goal constantly you're going to be a very successful person pile number one definitely a leader an entrepreneur, someone who people can really look up to and learn from. So pile number six, the way people see you is that you're the sort of, sort of person that um, keeps people dear to them. Once someone has made it into your inner circle, uh, someone that you started trusting, someone that passed all the tests, <laughs> 
they're definitely in. They're going to be one of the dear people to you. Um, they will see a lot of goodness from you. They will see a lot of warmth and care. Uh, they will really see your warm side, this loyal, very loyal side to you. Uh, and even though you don't let a lot of people in, but once they're in, they're in for a lifetime, pile number one. Um, you're, you're, you're a person who people love being around because you are very kind with the blessings that you have. You are the person who would share your blessings with the close people. You would share your knowledge. You would share with help. Whatever blessing that you have, you have no problem sharing that with other people, especially the people who are close to you. Um, you are very careful with the people uh, outside your inner circle because you've learned a lot from people, pile number one. You've learned how people can uh, misuse you, misuse your kindness and generosity. And so now you're very careful with the people outside, but with your inner circle, pile number one, you're very generous, very giving. And um, yes, it did happen that sometimes the, even the people in your er inner circle made use of you and you realize later that sometimes when you were giving them they started thinking that it was their right to take um you are you can easily cut people out of your life if you feel like they will they harm you but you definitely get into a lot of pain doing that um it really deeply hurts you having to cut someone off of your life when they uh, aren't as graceful as you are when you see some dishonesty and when you see that they don't cherish you the way that you have cherished them pile number one so of course i'm not really surprised with this card at all the hierophant in reverse pile number one um what i see about you is a person who's not traditional for sure <laughs> you're a person who is able to challenge societal ideas um, you're a person who you don't usually see um, often in in your community um, you have your own ideas about things be it uh, how to do your job being how to look uh, how to go about socially how you keep interpersonal relationships um, religion whatever it is you name it you have your own ideas and that's because you're constantly in a hunt to look for the truth um as you see here you're a person who is always after the truth it doesn't matter what everyone think it doesn't matter what society holds dear you you will respect society but you respect yourself first and foremost and you're made able to constantly make out the right decision because you're not dependent on what other people think you listen to them but if it doesn't make sense make sense you drop it and you move on let's see here take the last oracle card the familiar so i'm happy this card came out because it shows this other interpersonal side to you, pile number one. Um, while you're a person who's very focused on their goals, you're definitely not a selfish person at all. You're a very warm-hearted person. You're very loyal to your friends. You will, of course, very easily cut off people who harm you, even if they're very close. But you're definitely a very good, a very um, loyal friend a very loyal person you're not afraid to stand alone but at the same time you love your inner circle you're very warm you're a very warm person on the inside <clears throat> and you're definitely a very innocent person you have a good heart and you're a very honest person as well so pile number one it was really an honor doing your reading for you i hope you've enjoyed it um if you've liked it please give me a thumbs up Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a video that I upload and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye Hi there pile number two, so you've chosen this beautiful card
that says enjoy heaven on earth and what I instantly see about you pile number two is that you're a very chill person uh, you're a person who's not easily easily bothered who's very pleasant to be around people but at the same time you have a very strong character people aren't able to hit you you're not easily triggered and that what that's one of your secrets on how you're able to keep a strong facade uh, and a strong interior when you're around people. Uh, people really enjoy how you have um, this positive side to you. Um, you constantly see the positive side of things. You're not on the negative side, but you're careful at the same time. So you have this wonderful combination of being very pleasant, very strong, but at the same time careful you're a careful person people can't fool you quite easily pile number two um you're very abundant luckily it's just part of your luck you're a very abundant person you know that you are very blessed and uh, you go about doing what you want calmly people don't really uh, notice that you've come in and done what you want and left um because you're very pleasant and soft and um, with your positive mentality you're really able to um, <clears throat> achieve the things that you want calmly so that's one of your key points pile number two let's see what your tarot cards have to say about you that's really interesting pile number two this combination between being a strong person and at the same time quite pleasant and positive really that's a really unique characteristic there all right so let's see what you have in your tarot cards let's put this on the side so that you can see everything else all right so what makes you unique pile number two how do people perceive you from the outside so you have uh you're a very abundant person like we said pile number two so people see you as a person who really has everything going for them you're a person who's doing well financially or at least going towards that you're a person who has a healthy uh, group of friends you're really chill and people love you uh, you have a nice family obviously so people see you as being you're you or you're obviously really good looking and strong and people see that you're a very lucky person you nearly have it all um things come easily to you we did mention that you're easily you're abundant and it's very easy to you um it's part of your blessings in life and people are really attracted to you. you're a magnet pile number two people are easily attracted to you when you get into a party or a meeting um people always um, notice you they're waiting for you they love talking to you it's like you're a, you're one of the key additions to this gathering pile number two um, again with people people love seeing you they love working with you um, they always think they're going to be on the winning team if they're with you um, they love getting your attention pile number two people really love getting your attention you don't easily give your attention to people you're very chill and um, you don't think about people too much and it's very flattering when you do give your attention to other people uh, pile number two um, you're you are quite popular pile number two and uh, people it feels kind of hard challenging you in your position uh, socially um, people really admire who you are you have this great character and great strength to keep your position and people don't even think about challenging you or um, challenging your opinion sometimes because you're very quick uh, at pointing out what you don't like you're very quick at um, defending your point of view if you believe it's right um, and people just don't they know their boundaries with you very well plan number two so obviously what I see with the Knight of Pentacles here is that you give your trust very slowly, pile number two. People don't get your trust very easily they, like they do with a lot of other people. Uh, I think you take the time to see if people deserve this trust. Um, you take the time to see their behavior. And uh, even if they've done 
a lot of things to prove that they would they should gain your trust you're still not very quick into jumping into that and um you still take more time to get to see how they are and how they behave and prove um to yourself that they may deserve this type of trust you don't trust a lot of people obviously and you only trust very very few limited people in your life and you take your time to get to know people you don't just jump in um, you're not the sort of person who's happy-go-lucky bubbly person you're very blessed chilled happy but you're at the same time very reserved uh, you keep your um, movements slow you keep your um, you're very reserved is exactly what I want to say. You're very reserved. You're not jumping in and moving around too quickly. And um, there's a lot of grace and respect to the way you move. And people really admire that about you. I mean, it makes you very a very charming person. Pile number two. So you have the five of swords in reverse. And that kind of gives me an idea that you're a very direct person. You don't play with words. You don't play around. Uh, you cut people off if they if they think they can start playing mental games with you. Uh uh, that's not gonna work with you, pile number two. Uh, you're very uh, direct. You you are able to cut people off if they think they can disrespect you, or if they can if they think they can lie to your face. That's not gonna work with you at all. You have no problem sort of like embarrassing people for the bad behavior that they are doing to you or the bad you're you're able to call people off is exactly what i want to say when there's a behavior that you don't like at all that's pretty impressive pile number two of course i'm not uh, surprised with this card at all you have the seven of wands and that really shows me that you are very good at setting boundaries people think very well before they ask you if you can do something for them because they know that if you don't like the idea you're not gonna you're not gonna take it and you're gonna say no clearly uh, they know not to mess with you because <laughs> they know you're gonna be hitting back very quickly uh, you're not gonna think about it twice um, you you are very strong and you take action when you don't like a certain situation pile number two that's a really impressive trait and people really admire and respect this about you they also fear your bad side but they definitely respect you for it and this is why you're always able to maintain your position socially and this is why people really look up to you you have this maturity to you this authoritative air to you that really keeps people respecting you um, from the very beginning and as time goes on, of course. Eight of Wands, you're a very good communicator, pile number two. Uh, you're very good with your words, you know how to um, entertain people. <laughs> you remember your funny stories really well and you're able to articulate them very well. You're able to entertain the people around you. Uh, you're able to clearly... Um, uh, articulate your opinions your um, if you work in sales I'm sure you do very well at selling your ideas to people uh, but if you're not in the field of sales you're just really good with your speech you know how to convince people with your opinion you're very calm um, you're very wise as well you know um, how to think deeply of things and voice out your opinion after you've thought about them very well. You even have this... Um, you ha your character, you're able to take your time to think about things, even during a conversation. You don't mind pausing for a while <laughs> to think about what you want to say next. Um, you think about it deeply well and then you answer. You make people wait for you so that you take your time to think about the right thing. You just don't blurt out anything. 
you won't be the person who just blurts out things without deeply thinking about them. Um, your opinions are usually very balanced, well thought of, and um, that's one of the main reasons, pile number two, that people really look up to. And if I would give a theme to this reading, I would say social respect. I think people uh, socially really respect you, pile number two. So let's see your last oracle card and see what key features you have that people notice about you right away. Oh, that's so sweet, pile number two. So with the strength of character that you have, you are a very warm person underneath this whole icy facade, if we're going to call it icy. The strong facade, you are a very loving, warm person on the inside. And not a lot of people get to experience that, but when they do, they see this side of you, you they admire you forever, pile number two. Uh, they love your strength and your warmth. They wouldn't think that you have this warm side to you. You are a very loyal friend, uh, a person who will be there for you, a person who they can depend on, um, a person who does have empathy, you would feel for the people around you, uh, but you just don't show that very easily, pile number two. You have this wonderful combination of being warm on the inside, you feel for people, but at the same time being very strong on the outside. So pile number two, it was really an honor doing your reading for you. Uh, I love and admire your character. I do see that you have a strong intuition about people. That's why you take some time to get to know them. It's because you also use your intuition as a guide uh, along with your logic to see how what people are all about. If you get an uneasy feeling about someone from the very beginning, you feel like they're not honest, they're definitely not going to be able to um, get closer to you, even with time, pile number two. You're very, very careful with that. And uh, because you're a very abundant person, like we said, you are very, very careful about never allowing anyone to make use of you. Uh, you give only when you feel when you feel bad for somebody and feel like they really need this help or you give when you can trust the person that you're dealing with. Pile number two, it was really an honor doing your reading for you. Uh, if you've liked this reading, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Kudos to you, I admire your personality. And I'll see you the next time. Bye! Hi, pile number three. So you've chosen this beautiful card. It says, everyone lives in their own dream. Pile number three, what I instantly see about you is that you're a very intellectual person. You're a person who double checks everything. Um, you are very concerned about getting your information right. And you're very quick at calling people off for not checking their sources, for, not, um, for giving out the wrong information. Uh, you have an eye for always getting to the root of things, to finding the right information. And even when people have done their homework really well, they're always surprised by how, um, how much knowledge you've had looking into things and proving that the information that they had had that they have isn't so right. And this is achieved by you constantly taking the time to not just gain knowledge, but constantly see who wrote it, where it's from. Uh, are they giving out the wrong, inf the right or wrong information or not? You're very good at sticking to rules. Like, for example, when we're talking about the coronavirus times, you always stick to the rules. You'll always be the one who follows all the rules. You never break them. And people really uh, admire... Um, how you respect um, your information, how you respect what's right and what's wrong. You, all, you almost give me the sense of German um, high sense of responsibility. Um, you are very civilized, you're very concerned about 
doing the right thing constantly. You don't want to harm others. You don't want to harm yourself. And you constantly want to be doing what's right, what's civilized, what's right for society, and what's right for yourself. <clears throat> um, people see you sometimes as being quite harshly critical. But the truth of the matter is, pile number three, you don't mean to be uh, harshly critical. You're just really concerned about se um, sending off the right knowledge. You're very concerned about people taking in the right information. You're very concerned about doing the right thing. Uh, you don't mean to be overly critical, but you're very proud of your behavior. You're very proud at your approach and constantly doing what's right. And you want other people to respect so that we all as a society can be improving and moving forward. Um, so the first thing people notice about you, pile number three, is your sense of civility. Um, and it comes out off as very impressive to the people around you, pile number three. It's not quite easy to impress you. Um, you are very self-confident and uh, you're just re a really grounded person, pile number three. Um, you don't live in the clouds like a lot of people. You're very realistic. And if you want to do so something, obviously, you think very well about it. You go and collect all of the facts. You will be the one who's done your homework, called, thought about everything, planned it out well. And it's just impressive. People are very impressed watching you do things. Um... They learn a lot watching from you. You're a great example to the people around you, pile number three. Very impressive uh, already, really. Let's see at let's see what your tarot cards have to say about you, pile number three. So, <clears throat> how do people perceive pile number three? How do people perceive pile number three? All right. So we have the six, uh, the six of cups. So it's really interesting, pile number three. From the, <laughs> from the outside, when people first meet you, they could get the wrong impression that with your civility and your this um, strong critical facade that you sometimes have, because you're very concerned about doing the right thing, you might come off as a little bit cold in the beginning. So people misperceive you, but when they get to know you, they actually see a very sweet, soft side to you that they never imagined <laughs> could come out from a person like you. So they by time, because you have this wonderful, beautiful side to you, the soft side, they get used to the your harsh, cold comments, <laughs> and they accept you for it. Um, you, they, they believe they can really learn a lot from you, but at the same time, they know that they are safe with you. Uh, they accept you correcting them. They ab accept you. Um, talking about doing the right thing constantly because they know that you don't mean any harm, you're not doing it to come off as pretentious. This is really who you are and uh, you're a strong person and it is what it is and they accept you for it, pile number three. You have the five of wands, pile number uh, three. It's really hard to believe because with this uh, facade that you have, this calm facade, you actually secretly have <laughs> an angry side to you. I mean, you're not violent, you're not sh shouting off at people, but you do have the, an anger management problem. I think this is something that you're aware of and uh, something that you're trying to fix. You do sometimes get triggered easily and you do get angry. And... Um, it's something that you are aware about and you're trying to fix. So that people, they don't see you acting in rage, but they do notice right away that you sometimes could get angry internally and it, the way you look when you're angry is a bit uh, worrisome, pile <laughs> number three. <laughs> so it is something that you do need to work on. Uh, you have a very interesting character here, pile number three, something that's not very common at all. Um, and it's a beautiful character and 
this internal anger, it could be that certain things trigger you because you're a very righteous person. You want to do the right thing. You're very concerned about the right information. You're very concerned about integrity, being civilized. Uh, and so when things really don't go right, you're, you, you can get pretty, pretty angry. Um, and as right as it is to be upset about the wrong thing, being triggered and angry is not really the right thing. And I think you are, are aware of that. You don't need me to say that, obviously. And I think it's definitely something that you're working on, pile number three, to not get triggered and take things calmly. Uh, give the right advice, but know that you can't just change the world, you know? <clears throat> so you have the Four of Swords in reverse here, pile number uh, three. So what I see here is uh, a person who doesn't spend useless time thinking about useless, useless things. So you are impressively not an overthinker you do waste your time thinking about what you believe is right but you don't waste your time thinking about silly things uh, you don't waste your time thinking about how people perceive you uh, you don't waste your time thinking about um useless topics is really what i want to say so you're not an overthinker at all you go after the right information you're not easily fooled uh, and once you get your information, you're pretty much able to make up your mind right away because you have a foundation of um, um, you have a foundation of um, things that you believe in that help you take decisions quickly. You have high integrity, like we've we've already in, uh, discussed. You believe in certain things like civility and honesty and integrity. And it really helps you take decisions quite quickly, pile number three. So with the strength card in reverse here, pile number three, it does not say that you're not a strong person at all. It just says that you're a person who values um, intellectual conversation over, um, over trying to prove your strength and character. Uh, you already know that you're very strong. You wouldn't be um, out there fighting with people just to prove that your point of view is right. You don't waste your time with that. I mean, uh, you're very confident about what you're saying. And if what and if the if the other people don't like what you're saying, you really don't care. You're not going to waste your time being silly and immature and trying to prove your point of view to people. Uh, you might judge them in your head as being immature and uncivilized. That's going to happen for sure. <laughs> but you're not going to go down to their level and uh, have immature fights with people uh, at all. Definitely, that's one of your boundaries. Oh, pile number three, you are very smart with your words. And I'm not uh, surprised, pile number three, because you're very intellectual. So you always have something very cerebral to say. You always know a thing or two about things. Um, you are very well read and people like listening to your opinion. They feel like um, it's always the right balanced opinion. Uh, because you take the time to research, you take the time to double check your information and you always know something about whatever you're talking about. Uh, you don't just say whatever society says, no, you've researched well and uh, people know they're going to get the right information from you, that's for sure. Um, people love listening to uh, your opinions about things, how you do things, how people should do things. Um, they see you as a great example uh, to how people should do and go about their lives. Pile number three. Impressively, even though you're a great communicator, you love spending time alone. You know how to entertain yourself very well. You have set routines in your life and um, you know what you're going to do every day. You have certain things um, that are important for you that you do every day your your day is very well structured you wake up at a certain time you know when to start working when to clean up when to read when to and your life is full of uh, full of activity
activities. You know how to keep yourself busy doing what's right for you. And uh, your life just flows doing whatever is right for you. When a surprise comes in, you're not really triggered. You think about how to fix it. You put it into your plan and you achieve it. Pile number three, that's really impressive. So you do like spending time with your friends, of course, but most of the time you're just alone doing your thing. Pile number three, you take your time to read and educate yourself on different topics. You are very self-disciplined and uh, you just enjoy your time. You have these certain hobbies that you do that you really love doing. Ten of Wands. So obviously, pile number three, the way people see you is that you're a very hard worker. Um, you have high integrity, eth work ethics is what I want to say. You have high work ethics. You do your work um, at the time that you promised to send it. Um, people can definitely depend on you at work. And... Um, you're not a complainer. You can carry a lot of work. You just need to set it into your schedule. Um, with you, always. Um, you're a very important and key person in your company. If you're in your business, that makes a lot of sense, of course. You, you are able to carry a lot of responsibilities to achieve whatever it is that you want. But at work, you're not a complainer. And you're a sort of person who quietly takes in a lot of tasks does them really well, doesn't complain, and sends them off at the right time. Pretty impressive, pile number three. That's not to mention that you always double-check your work. You've always made sure that you have the right information before you send it. Um, it's just pretty impressive. You have very high work ethics, pile number three, clearly. But again, with the tower here and with the five of wands, I think you seriously... Um, appear as someone who does not accept um, poorly done work. You do not accept wrong behavior and you're able to co instantly call people off. You're a very critical person. You're instantly able to call people off. Uh, if it was your company, you fire people off if they're not doing their jobs correctly. You just don't accept that. It's not part of how you can function uh, mm -hmm. you don't like people not doing their jobs you don't like people doing things half-heartedly you don't like people not double checking their information uh, if you're a manager you're pretty tough pound number three <laughs> it's not really easy working with you but at the same time it's very fulfilling working with you and it's the same with your interpersonal relationships i mean you're you easily cut people off uh, in your relationships, if you don't feel like they match um, your foundational values, if they don't, they're not going to be there. You're just going to cut them off. I think, to be quite frank with you, the way you're perceived, pile number three, is that you harshly judge people sometimes, but deep down, that's not really the truth. You don't mean to judge people. It's just that you have very high standards and you really keep to them. Uh, pile number three. Let's take a look at your oracle card and see what else uh, the crystal ball. You know what? I was not. Mm. So pile number uh, three. You have a lot of wisdom to you. And that's because of the years of looking into information correctly. You now know, you've now developed this intuition on what, how to do things right. Because by time, continuously choosing to do the right thing, con cho continuously choosing to get the right information for things, you now have this internal compass on where to go, how to do things, even before you've collected in in the information for it. So you would still double check, but now you have this internal compass and you kind of know uh, what's probably going to be needed, what you should do. You've, inter you've created this internal wisdom and I think... A lot of people love coming to you and asking you, uh, what do you think I should do about that? They might not really always love what you're going to say, <laughs> but they know they're getting the right thing from you, pile number three. Um, I see you as 
even though there's this harshness to you of, you know, always doing things right, there's also this softness to you that we talked about. People, when they get to know you, they just want to stay either on your team or by your side forever because they know that behind this harshness is some great um, high integ integrity person that they can rely on and depend on, um, a person who's going to feel for them, that person who has... Um, um, empathy for people really you're a very empathetic person it's just that people don't see it straight away um, I loved your reading pile number three it was really an honor doing this reading for you and if you've liked this reading please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel so that I never so that you never miss a reading that I upload and I'll catch you in the next reading bye Hi, pile number four. So you've chosen this beautiful flower here. It says, become immune to poison. And what I see right away here, pile number four, with you and how people perceive you from the outside is that people have seen you and watched you grow as a person. They've seen you move from being this beautiful, innocent person to this beautiful, strong person. You are not to be messed with now, pile number four. Um, but there's a lot of colors to you, uh, meaning that you've been through so many life experiences, more than the people around you. Maybe you've traveled a lot. Maybe you've been to different areas. Maybe you've met with different types of peoples in your, people in your life. Uh, maybe you're interracial. Uh, there is a certain aspect about you where you... What it, where it allowed you to have different sides of your personality and it's very clear on you. You know a lot of things, you've been through a lot of different experiences and it makes you this unique person today and you've been through the good, you've been through the bad and uh, the bad has made you a stronger person and the good just took you so much further and together you flourished into this beautiful flower that people see today that is very beautiful to look at but very hard to mess with pile number four very interesting already it says become immune to poison so what i see right away pile number four is that whatever used to be your weaknesses in the past i think you've grown into becoming a stronger person a person more reliant on themselves a person who 